The subject of this video is using FEH, a simple command line video viewer, to set a wallpaper. Well, what's a wallpaper? You're looking at it. It's a background that's used on computer screens. Either it could be your family photographs, it could be a nice sci-fi shot of the earth as you see here. It could be little bitty tiles, but they can all be done with FEH. Um, why would I go with a FEH and not nitrogen or some something with a nice big general user interface? Very simply, FEH is low resource and it does the job it's supposed to do, not 25 different things you never use it for. It's classified as it as a um, image viewer and cataloger. It does quite a lot of stuff and I'll include um, notes to do that, but my main interest here of course is going to be setting a wallpaper. The process is fairly simple. Let's go to, uh, I'm going to use Thuner, something people are a little more used to as far as a uh, file manager goes. We're looking at Thuner. I'm going to go over here to file system. I keep a set of backgrounds and this is my uh, open box system that operates live or installed. If you're wondering what this is up here, I'll close that down. This is my rocks file or bar has access to all kinds of folders programs and whatever and down here is the xfce4 panel which i use in place of tent 2 occasionally but nonetheless let's go to our file system we're going to go to user we're going to go to local and there's a um, folder in, i put in here called backgrounds and we're going to open it and you're looking at several pictures all right what we're looking at is a series of pictures here i can go ahead and click on the picture of course and this is Vunior, another something i compiled and added to the system you just have to sit here and take a look at the pictures and decide which one do i want for a background of course there is the uh, one that you originally saw so what you have to do is this we're going to write we're going to open a terminal here in the folder uh, I'm going to I'm going to close that one I don't want to use this one because it has a bigger text in it all right this I programmed this one to have a larger text that you can see all we have to do is type FEH space. Now I have to give the complete path user local backgrounds slash user slash local slash backgrounds forward slash. All right, let's pick out one. Um, let's take this one here p1.jpg and the jpg is capitalized you have to capitalize it too um, p1.jpg you hit enter and you should see the picture open which it did um, you right click on the picture and you get this small menu as you can see here you can do other things to it, like auto zoom or freeze the window or all kinds of other stuff. But you want to go up here to file, move over and go down to background. And you have to decide whether you want it tiled, scaled, centered or filled. I'm going to choose scaled. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and close this out. Let's minimize this. Let's minimize that, and there's my new background. That's all I had to do. Now, in addition to that, it does a little something else. Let's go back to our home folder, and I'm going to uh, right-click here. Uh, won't work that way. I'll have to go up here and view. I want to go to hidden files. Now you see all the hidden files, and if you look down here, you will see... 
a folder dot fehbg all right I'm going to open that up as a uh, text and if you look at the text it's exactly what I did there is the uh, scale there is the complete path and the picture name and it's feh when you um, for example boot up your computer and come to your window manager and I'll show you what that is since this is open box I'll go down here in my stuff these are routines that I added particularly for this live version go down here and edit open box and when you see this open here uh, if you can see it over here uh, here's in your uh, this is auto start it's in one of the it's, this is what tells uh, open box what to uh, open with and of course here is sh home that's the atilda forward slash dot f ehbg what it does it open it does it uses a shell script to do in that file dot fehbg what i did from the terminal and thus you have your uh, background set all right let's go back to where we were i'm going to go back to we're going to go back over to uh file system we're going to go back to user and we're going to go back to local and like i said in my version here i place something called backgrounds and bgs we'll get uh we'll look at bgs momentarily now we're going to open a folder bgs or backgrounds what this is is a collection of tiles that I use on web pages and other uses. We can also use this for uh, FEH to do backgrounds. It's quite capable of doing tiles. Yeah, let's go with this one. That's better. Now you can see it. Let's pick out a tile that we like. Um, let's use that one there. It's called BG. 1.jpg again you type uh, feh space gotta have the full path user local bgs slash bg1.jpg Okay. Ah, uh, misspelled. Got to get this. This is what it's going to do to you if you misspell it. Let's do that again. I messed up the path and left the L out of local. So it won't let you get away with it. So we're going to go F-E-H forward slash U-S slash local slash bgs slash again let's move that down where we can see it we want this one right here bg1 dot jpg and here it is it opened up this little bitty this is the actual size of the tile okay put your arrow on it right click again there's your list you're going to go down here to file again you're going to go down to background but we this time instead of scaled or centered we want it tiled okay looks like nothing happened let's close it out let's close this out and there you go there's your background just like that and so that's how you do a background with FEH low resource easy to use and let's go back in our home folder let's go take a look at there it is dot FEH BG and when we open it up 
there is exactly the path and file name that we had typed before and this is what will come up and work uh, I'm going to change this and by the way you don't have to go through all that if you know the name of what you want I'm, you can just go ahead and change it here I'm going to go back to backgrounds uh, forward slash let's go back to earth that's what I had originally you can go ahead and save it I'm gonna close that out I'm gonna close this out I wrote a routine under my stuff that will let me reset the wallpaper and there's our wallpaper right back so that's how you use FEH um, if you're doing lightweight Linux distributions like this that's what I would use thanks for listening